question. Uh, do voodoo yeah. dolls exist? Okay, so the concept of voodoo dolls actually Does is actually like you can copy. press someone and then like... Oh, okay, I let me it. just explain how voodoo works. Okay. So voodoo <laughs> doll works. How it works is that in ancient time, this is from the ancient Egyptian time, okay. whereby, yes, the ancient Egypt's, Egyptians were very uh, advanced. They actually performed surgery. They actually performed like... They do like... What, what, what's up? What's up, bro? You're listening to Randomly Relatable SG. Where we talk about random things you relate to. Just okay, I, I'm not being rude. If you find me rude or what, you just tell me to stop, lah. Uh huh. So, Why is you being rude? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so you do all these chants and spells, all right? Who chanting? You you casting spell to who? Uh, what do you mean? Like we we pray to God. We're asking from yeah, God. Yeah, yes. You right? have a specific God. Yeah. 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 For you, you are just asking from life. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. No. Yeah. Okay. So for me, where I'm coming from is that because I like the whole idea of different gods. Okay. okay. So I have many different gods and goddesses that I work with. Okay. And yet, the bigger picture is the universe. And then your earth energy is basically earth that you work with. Earth is divided into the five elements. Yeah. Air, fire, water, earth. Air, fire, water, earth. Have you read the book, The Secret? Yeah. It's pretty much that. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same. It's asking, the, asking the universe so gods. Yeah. When, so the whole idea of prayers yeah. is that yes you said a prayer but you have to work for your prayer to come alive that's true that's your true your prayers just sets your mind into a motion of creation it's mm. manifestation. manifesting manifesting and then that is when your body becomes that energy and then you, you get it you get that or you get something even better mm. which is why I do not do love spells that hexes your lover or, or get someone to love you or get back your ex like, I hate when people ask me things like that can do me. Basically, it's an intention. It's the same thing. It's uh. the same concept. It means that you are just trying to manipulate someone else's free will. You cannot make. You can make like nasi kangkang for people and stuff. Ah, uh. it's kangkang. Nasi kangkang is basically like a. It's a hex, like It's a curse, uh, yeah. I'll explain it yeah. to you, okay? Yeah. Um, it's when a girl squats. Kangkang means like squatting. Yeah, that's what I, I picked. So it's figured. a girl squatting over a plate of rice. And then it must be steam rice. Is it like pea in it or something? No, no, no. It's, it's steam rice. So after that, when the you know when steam rice is hot, right? Yeah. So it. Like Sweat. steams onto your that one, then like your the the, the fluid lah will drop onto yeah. the rice and you feel it to someone. Yeah, someone yeah. you like. So okay, there's quite a few that I've heard of, which mm-hmm. is kind of scary because you've read news before. Yeah. Whereby something that opened my eyes recently was that I actually heard that there's actually a Filipino committee that actually practice dark arts. It's dark arts. Like black magic. Ah uh, okay. It's kind of, of a thing with them. So they are very. I don't know whether I should say this, but it's kind of weird. Okay. So okay. there is a few spells that tell you that if you actually soak your menstrual blood, oh, man. blood yeah. into food. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know it's, how many yeah. cases that came out whereby the maid actually tried that on the, on on the, the yeah, employer? Yeah, yeah. You I know how many cases that came out? Like no. you read the news. I, I never I yeah. never came across anything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I come across that so many times. Like Singapore. In Singapore. Ayoh. Ayoh. Yeah, so they, they get caught and then they have to pay fine in the court, right? Because they cook their panties with the food and then their blood all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But does it really work? I, I don't you want to will know. You never know. <laughs> but I think that it's because of how they do it. It's already not an ethical way to do it. Uh-huh. It's so unhygienic. Yeah. And then your intention is to... Like, so usually these spells come with the idea of wanting to interfere and, and rule someone, right? Mess with someone's free to, will. Yeah, la. exactly. Yeah. To control so yeah. that you can stay and it'll give you money and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The intention is bad. Yeah. And then if the person that you are doing this to have a very strong will, have a very strong faith, okay. you're going to get caught. That's true. Then how long can you do bad and, and sustain? Mm. Yeah. It's the same theory that how long can we hurt Mother Earth and sustain in our Earth, right? Yeah. Same. same. Hmm. So the whole idea of a broom yeah. is that the broom actually helps you to cleanse and protect the space. Yeah. Oh, that which is, is what is associated with witches. And witches are also known to create um potions that help you to fly. Oh. But it's hallucination. Uh, hey, how much are there? So it's uh, how much you said? It's drugs. It's drugs. Okay. La. <laughs> it's it's drugs. basically so drugs. So it's basically hallucination. So there's some herbs that you can actually Mixed together like a tea like THC, eh? that actually makes you go <laughs> into a hallucination. Because like all, all yeah, of it's this, called a flying potion. Yeah, all, all of these things, right? Like when you when you hear all these uh, myth or like legends, right? It, they they tell you that oh you feel like flying, you know, like you you saw yes. a witch flying and like when 
when the story is being told like over thousands of years, right, it can be misconstrued. It could just be a tea that makes you high yeah. and then you feel like you are flying. That instead is of exactly actually, that. It's instead of an a actually drug. wish yeah. an, an actual witch who you who is flying. You know, she the witch can make you feel like you're flying. Yeah. It's a hallucination. It's yeah. a hallucin- hallucinant. I cannot pronounce it properly but yeah. you can actually like shamanism actually does that as well. Question, uh, do voodoo yeah. dolls exist? Okay, so the concept of voodoo dolls actually Does is actually like you can poppy. press someone and then like oh, Okay, I let me it. just explain how voodoo works. Okay. The voodoo <laughs> doll works. How it works is that in ancient time, this is from the ancient Egyptian time. Okay. Whereby yes, the ancient Egypts Egyptians were very uh, advanced. They actually perform surgery, they actually perform like they do like braces and all that. So yeah. they're very advanced in their in their time. Mm-hmm. Mm. And at the same time what happened is that before they want to take a surgery out on someone, mm-hmm. they actually believe that they create a little um, doll-like thing of the person. They actually stuff healing herbs into these dolls. Okay. So the doll is like a form of energy whereby you heal the doll means you're healing the person. Okay. And how does uh, the person make the doll associated with, with the, the person? person yeah. uh, it's the energy. So okay, this is just how voodoo happens. Okay. So what happens is that when you create a doll, mm-hmm. you you actually add in an intention setting of wanting this doll to represent a certain person. Okay. And initially, the idea was to heal. Okay. Uh, but then, of course, people treated it as a form of dark arts whereby they use it to influence to another person to hurt. hurt. So it was alternate medicine. Huh. In a way, it's very so. Everything good can be used. Like I think, like yeah, Daryl yeah. said it, like in our previous podcast, Daryl said that you have a gun, you can use it to either kill people or to protect people. You know, it's and the similar same to thing. witchcraft, la. It's the same tool. Yeah. You are provided with the tools. It's just how you use it and why you use it. Now, a word from our sponsors. Hello. Huh? What are you doing? I'm keeping my money. You keeping your money in a jar under the pillows? Then what am I supposed to do? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not the wisest thing to do. If you're keeping your money in the jar under the pillow, like Shuraim, there is a better way. Have you heard of Fire With Aim and how he can guide you to invest? What is Fire With Aim, you may ask? Well, Fire stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. And who is Aim? He is the man to go to if you want to start investing but not sure where, how or what to do. Are you ready to grow your wealth? Invest 60 minutes to make your next 60 months better. Click the link in the description below to invest with Imran today. And now, back to the podcast. Like, can, can you do like black magic stuff? If I want to, I can. It's all about the intention. Anyone can, right? Anyone can. Just gonna sell a soul to the... F- Devil lah, bro. That yeah, is Satanism. Yeah. What, 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 is, what is that saying? Okay, let know? me just break that down, okay? Okay, okay. The whole concept of Satanism is just that they believe that Lucifer. So Satanism is an ob- it's a contrast to cr- Christianity. So you got yeah. a goat at your goat head at your okay, house. The goat head is like just a uh, representation. A uh. representation. It's not that that's the devil. Mm. The devil is actually a fallen angel called Lucifer. Yeah. Morning star, ta. Lucifer morning star. Yes, okay, I don't know. <laughs> so it's Lucifer. So the idea of the Satanism is just that whatever Jesus does for them, Lucifer, Lucifer does for did. them. Yeah. So they have good intention, they have bad intention, but they're just using a different form to create that. And for me, the devil is equals to fear based. It's just fear. See, uh, the more you scare the devil, the more you turn to God. Mm. So that's what I that's my understanding of the devil, mm. Lucifer's energy. It's just that he came out of the light to show us that we should stay in the light because we don't want to go astray. Mm. So it's the same concept whereby for a deer, if fear doesn't act up in his body, he wouldn't run away from a lion. Mm-hmm. Mm. Fear is a natural response that is something that we should have. That's why the yin and yang, light and dark. Mm. And if you think about other religions such as Buddhism and Hinduism, we do not even have the devil in our concept. Mm. We live in a concept of karma and dharma. Mm. Just now you say voodoo, voodoo, karma, dharma. What is dharma now? Oh, karma <laughs> is bad things that happen to you. Uh-huh. Dharma is good things you do for people. Uh-huh. So in reincarnation belief systems, like uh-huh. religions that believe in reincarnation, we believe that we have to do a lot of dharma, a lot of good, so that our karma will be lessened. Uh-huh. So like, dharma is the opposite of karma. Yeah, dharma is good. Karma, karma is, is bad. the yeah. suffering. Uh, yeah. okay, That's okay. why we do not have a concept of a devil. We do not point our finger onto something and say that because of him, I do that this. That is the root of evil. 
I see. We do not believe in the root of evil, but we believe in a system whereby what we do is what we create. So you the do law good, you get good. Create your own way. consequences, lah. Yeah, in a way. All right. It's very <laughs> philosophical, lah. This conversation, <sighs> religiously. So, yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice conversation. So. It's something I never thought I'd like talk about or like yeah. have a conversation about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Thank you for giving us that. <laughs> I hope it, it kind of gets you all to, to think That's a bit more. I hope our listeners actually appreciate this. Like, I know it's not the podcast that you guys were expecting when we were interested. Nara the wish! But like... <laughs> no, no, this but, is but a, I have a question now. Like, yeah. Yeah. What were you expecting then? <laughs> I was, but like when I had the conversation with you then, right outside, then it, yeah, it, yeah, it was yeah, a very yeah, different when, vibe. When, when, when outside, they're like, <laughs> it's just man, I wanted the smoke. Uh. <laughs> wanted now got no smoke. Now got no smoke. I thought she can move my energy, <laughs> change my chakra, <laughs> snap open portal. But I think that's the... Snap open portal. But I think that's the thing that um, Jang was telling us about. Like, it's not about the hype. Because like in investing, right? Like, this is out of okay, context. Okay. Like, in investing, <laughs> it's all about the hype stuff. You know, people like to go GameStop and stuff like that. And we were expecting that from witchcraft because that's what the hype is portraying. Like, oh, you can move media chakras lah. The media framing of um, wearing hey, the hats. Long time, my name is the word, Media framing. Wearing the hat and the... Um, I mean, like Halloween, people dress up as witches with yeah. their outfit. And the extreme movies that. that we see, you know, and the supernatural stuff. But then like, when it comes down to it, Witchcraft is actually that simple. You know, so it's, it's, a, it's a practice. It's a, practice. It's a, practice. Yeah. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. Similar to how lifestyle investing. All of the witches and witchcraft. Similar to how investing is just simple. Lah. <laughs> yeah. Boring. But it's, yeah. it's the truth. It's, it's how you live your it's life. It's the truth. Yeah. And it's very sad because I try to educate this. Mm. And then you have people that are trying to oversell some things that doesn't make sense. And it sounds uh. better. So that yeah. might be very frustrating. Must be very, um, very actually, frustrating. for me, uh, because it's not my rice bowl, uh, I continue educating and sharing with people what it is. And I, I take a lot of pride in what I share. Like, mm. I have closed off all these unnecessary noises because... It's good. Good on Because you. it doesn't, doesn't mean anything. It doesn't do justice to what you do. Uh, yeah. So it's... I don't fake promise. I don't fortune tell. I'm mm. very real with people with... What they can just do. now you tell me you, you can help me talk to my dead grandmother? Um, that's mediumship. So there's a term to it. But it's not that you specifically sit there and you ask your grandmother come and then we talk. What we do is that we channel messages. <laughs> you laugh all. <laughs> we channel she messages me for you that is important right now. Because another concept is that we always want, want our loved one to move on. Mm. <laughs> my grandmother moved for long ago. <laughs> yeah. Our grandmother. Our bro. grandmother. Uh, we're cousins. I, oh! Yeah. You feel the energy? Yeah, no. Not, no. He is a lot more grounded than you are. So. <laughs> <laughs> on oh. that note, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Nara, for coming on to the podcast. Really enjoyed the conversation. Um, hopefully, our listeners really benefited from that. Knowing what really is witchcraft <laughs> and really what is magic. Uh. Can, can, can you use the word magic? Do you use the word magic? Yeah. Um, yeah, um, if you haven't followed Nara, it is My Grandmama Secret, correct? Yes. On Instagram. Are you on any other platforms? I have a website that's called My Grandmama Secret as well. That's where you buy all the potions, <laughs> lah. That's where you go. You want to get someone to. Flying no, not potion. get someone, not get someone. Uh-huh. Where you want, you want to have some love potions, you want to improve your quality of life. I mean, like, you can look up any of the but products. love potion, right? I thought you said. That yeah, you got like... a love perfume all around? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said you didn't like that. Oh, I don't like the idea of doing spells to get back an ex for people. Okay. Mm, but love potion can. But if you want love potions just to feel good about yourself, yes. I can, mm, I can so do that has, for you. So she has online Da Vinci, Da Vinci, eh? Divination. Divination simply Divination means reading. oracle card and tarot card readings. Then yeah. she has uh, animal communication. Yeah, telepathy. Oh, something we need to talk about. Ah. Right? <laughs> Mojo bag crafting. Wearable oil blend. Okay lah. Oil. Okay. Protection witch bottle. Yeah. Mm. Love if, and protection sprays. Mm. If you want any of that stuff, you can head over to our website and check it out. Lah. Which is mygrandmamasecret.com <laughs> Yes. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you. If you haven't followed us on any of our social medias, it is at randomly relatable underscore SG on everywhere. Um, thank you guys for listening. I will catch you guys on the next podcast. Bye-bye. Bye.